I don't know what the appeal, the appeal of it is. I really don't. I guess it's just um, it appeals to the um, to the side of a person who um, who's willing to just you know drop everything they know as it really exists and enjoy something else that um, can be quite entertaining and can really get you under its spell. I don't remember ever deciding to become an actress. That was just something that, you know, like I always knew. I, I didn't talk about it when I was um, living in, in Alabama. I figured I won't talk about it. I'll go away and do it and let them talk about it. And uh, so I did, I wanted to go to the American Academy of Dramatic Arts, which, and I was accepted. So I went the first and second year. And then my, you know, it was just something that, um, uh, that I had to do. It wasn't that I wanted to do it. I really had to do it. That was, it was just like in my heart. That's what I, I had to do to make my life um, seem complete, I guess, at the time. I think actors have, most actors, most people that you'll, actors that you'll ask, or when people come up to me and say, I want to be an actor, tell me what I should do. And I say, well, do you have to? And if they say, no, well, you know, I've, I've got a part-time job and I'm also probably going to be a this or that, that's one answer. You get, I always answer in one way, but whenever they answer, do you have to, with a yes, I have to, then I, then I go have a whole other one, which is, you start to study this and that. I would suggest school, probably in New York. Um, in California, there are an awful lot of people who get in front of the camera because somebody threw a stick and it hit that one on the beach and they stood up and they were cast, you know. So, um, so I've totally forgotten the question, but that's all right. I never got, had to be bitten. <laughs> Jonathan never bit me. I never was bitten. Um, I thought he was, was and is absolutely wonderful. I don't know how anybody could have been Barnabas Collins except for Jonathan Fred. Fred and he's such a well-trained actor, you know. I mean, he's such a, a, a stage actor. He's a, a wonderful actor. Jonathan made a great impact on me. I mean, I learned a lot from watching him. And uh, from I, if I wasn't in a scene, I, I would come in on days that I didn't even work to either be in the, um, in the booth with Henry and watch what the director was doing and see what was going to come up on camera three before camera three came up to see what the actor was doing to prepare. I think I saw Laura once. She was just getting ready to make an entrance. and just didn't, But she pulled the little lace out of her sleeves before she walked on and then it made all the difference in her body language it was just wonderful and 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 yeah and watching Jonathan was was a, a wonderful education he was a nice such a nice man he was so nice to me Miss Bennett yes um, well I mean you know I was starstruck because um, uh, Miss Bennett and her sister Constance I knew a lot about and had, you know, seen movies and my mom had told me things. And I thought she was great. She had a, um, I thought she did a great job too. She was very teeny. Um, and I, you know, she was a very small, teeny little woman, but she commanded a, a she had a lot of presence. And, um, and I remember that she came in in the morning with one of those neck things on. And I thought, oh my God, how in the world can you take that thing off and work? Doesn't that hurt? I never asked her, but I bet it hurt. <laughs> but she was great. There with his big voice and all of his stage equipment tools and stuff. Oh, I thought Thayer was great too. I really liked Grayson so much. Um, uh, I have real fond memories of Grayson and little quirks, little things she did. Um, but understanding, you know, I think she helped me to understand sometimes what what my character's intention was in a scene that I might say, "What in? What am I supposed to be doing here?" You know. And Grayson, uh, I used to. It's the funniest little thing when I think about Grayson. I remember when when I'd be doing a scene with her, I, I'd watch her mouth as she listened because her, uh, her tongue would go back and forth against the roof of her mouth. Has anybody else told you that? Well, Grace, <laughs> Grace probably wouldn't want to hear it, but she was terrific. She was very concentrated and always there.
He was nice. The camera guys were great. Everybody, the stage manager was great. It was a wonderful experience. Um, when I remember Dark Shadows, I think, right immediately, I think of the people. Um, because uh, it, was a, it was a real special group of people. And it was my first job. And all of them were really very helpful. And, um, um, you know, that one director, Leela, was the only one who wasn't <laughs> determined that get in somewhere. But anyway, uh, but Dan Curtis was like, oh, and I was always just a little bit afraid of Dan. And he's, of course, got a heart of gold. And he's just wonderful. And, and, and Laura and, and David. And geez, I, I just remember all these wonderful, uh, nice people doing this crazy thing. And um, I got to go there every day and, and do something crazy with them. And it was fun. It was really fun. It was. Uh, it wasn't dog eat dog. It was, you know, everybody was real supportive of everybody else.